I'm going to consult a lawyer. I rely upon the law of England to clear me of this dastardly charge. Roger, if you get out of this house, we're sunk. Come on. Don't go farther. The police. It became a tradition in these films for Hare to lose more than just his dignity. No, no. Stop him. Prim, pedantic, Robertson Hare has got a brand of comedy all his very own. Where's father? Haven't you had him out yet? Out? Still alive, he's in here. Oh, no, Potts, that's going too far. Wasn't so bad, Holly, was it? I will not endure any further torment. I feel half suffocated. Well, why don't you take a little walk up and down the room? Do a little breathing. I'll do nothing in this attire. Look at it, Roger. It's utter mockery. It isn't bad, Father. Really, it isn't. The colours are lovely. It isn't what you wear. You know, it's how you wear it. Detectives. Oh, will this never end? Shall I answer the door, sir? No, no. Wait till I give you the word. Holly, you've got to go back. No, I will not. Nothing else for it. No. Father, you've got to. <laughs> never. I will not go in there again. It'll mean six months, Mr. Ollie. It'll be in the papers. And so will your photograph. With all those clothes on. Oh, very well, persecution. Now don't make a move, don't make a sound, and don't breathe. It attacks me so when it tries to strike the hours. We've got half an hour before the next attack. Everybody in our business knows him affectionately as Bunny. You have known him and laughed at his lovable comedy for years. And here he is, the one and only Robertson Hare. How are you, Bunny? I said... Nice to be in such good company with you. <laughs> Thank you. That film brought back memories. Oh, I bet it did. How long ago was it made? Well, the play was produced on the 13th of May, 1936, at the Strand Theatre. We ran for a year, so the film was made in 1937. You made a lot of pictures with Alfred Drayton, didn't you? Oh, yes, Sid. Vernon Sylvain turned out some splendid farces for us. There was Art Men Beasts that we started with, then Spot of Bother, Women Aren't Angels, Madame Louise... And One Wild Oat. That was the best of the lot, I think. And before that, you were in those fabulous old witch farces with Tom Walls and Rafe Lynn. That's right, Sid. That's where I first met Ben Travers, who wrote them. First of all, we had Cuckoo in the Nest, Rookery Nook, Dark, Thunder, Cup of Kindness, a wonderful series of jolly good farces. They were. Tell me, why were they so popular? What do you reckon was the secret of their success? Well, they were so jolly well written, Sid. Very well written. Well produced by Tom, and we had a wonderful team. We had practically the same cast all through, and we began to know each other, and the public knew us too. They knew exactly the formula they were going to be given. Jolly good farce. There's one little thing you've forgotten. They were a marvellous bunch of performers. Oh, well, yes. <laughs> Although I say so, they were. Tell me, Bunny, you always had the same sort of part, didn't you? Yes, Sid. I was always in trouble. The meek little man, always on the receiving end. Would you like to play any other sort of part? No, I don't think so. The public have been very, very kind to me for so many, many years. And I I think I shall stick to this type of part. It's nice to hear the laughs. Bunny, I've just got to ask you this, if you'll pardon the expression. How many times did they have the pants off you? <laughs> it's funny you should ask me that, Sid. But only in two plays, Art Men Beasts and A Night Like This. But both those plays ran for a year. <laughs> so eight times a week for two years I had my pants removed. And you didn't get a chill? <laughs> no. Bunny, they'll never forgive me if I don't ask you to say it. What? Oh, I know what you mean. Oh, calamity. Ha <laughs> ha, that's it. Bunny, thank you very much. And do me a favor, don't retire for a long time. Oh, no, 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 I won't retire, no. No, as long as the public will put up with me, I shall be there. And one thing I would like to do, that's play opposite you. After that, I wouldn't mind just fading away like an old soldier. Oh, well, that's very nice of you, mate. I love that. I'll do you one big favor. Okay. I won't take your trousers off. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you, buddy. <laughs>